My name is Johanna, and I am a summer intern here at the Glen Ellen Historical Society. I was assigned to catalog, research, and then put this item on display. This is a cradle board that was donated to us by Mr. Dunn of Joliet, Illinois. As you'll see here, the baby is first wrapped in cloth and then laced in. If we start up here, we have two boards, the one on the right being representing Mother Earth and the one on my left representing Father Sky. These two points up here represented the ears. Our board is not entirely accurate in the fact that it's missing two holes up here called piercings and our rainbow, which is what this is called, is also missing a hole right here representing intellect. The board here was used so that a blanket could be draped over the top to keep off sun and keep away bugs from the baby. Then when you move down here to how the baby is laced in, there are four loops on each side representing the four mountains of the four corners of the earth. If the baby was female, you would start, you would start and tie the lacing on my right up here. Um, and you would also place a piece of white shell up here on this side of the rainbow. If the baby was male, you would start on the other side, my left, and you'd tie a piece of turquoise on this side of the rainbow. The lacings um, in between the loops was called lightning, female lightning or male lightning, depending. When you get down here to the footboard, this piece is called the little rainbow. And then if you look at it over here, you can see this loop right here connecting to the lacings, and this is called the sunbeam. And if you look down here at these loops tying the footboard to Father Sky and Mother Earth, these were called the roots. Uh, this will be put on display, so if you would like to come see it in person, you are welcome to, along with our many other entertaining exhibits.